Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery. Welcome to today's Five Minute Friday. We've got a really fun one for you today. I always like it when we take cuttings or produce free plants. Um, so we're gonna actually take cuttings from this golden lemon verbena here. Um, I've got the standard lemon verbena next to it because pictures on websites and online and stuff like that don't always do it justice on how different this plant can be. So both of them still have that lovely lemony sherbet scent and taste to them. Um, but this one, the golden one, as you can see, has got really golden colored leaves to it, as opposed to the standard green one. Um, so a really, really nice variety. What you'll find is certain times of year, and this time of year is particularly golden, certain time of year is not quite as golden. So if you've bought this plant, you can obviously take cuttings. Um, so this is a prime plant for making teas with, using in cooking, in cakes and things like that. So use it in exactly the same way that you use a standard lemon verbena, just you get the lovely golden colour to it. So we're going to take cuttings from it for you. So what I'm actually going to do is going to put it in this greenhouse. So this little greenhouse here has already got some cuttings in it. So this is thyme lemonade. We took this on another five minute Friday um, around about 10, 10 days, two weeks ago. So they're not quite rooted, but we didn't fill all of the gaps and this will be really common at home. So we didn't fill all of the gaps, but you can safely add some more cuttings here of plants that like a very, very similar condition like the lemon verbena. And if this one roots first, that's fine. We can pop the cell out individually um, and pot it up and you can keep the younger cuttings in there. So what we want to do is take our mother plant, um, the lemon verbena here, and let's have a look at the top here. What we're looking for is a nice, soft, very pliable stem to it. So the fresh growth of the year. It's always easier to take cuttings from, from the fresh growth. And you can see here, that's a stem um, here. So that's an older, older growth there. And this is the fresh growth coming from it. So I want to take a cutting from the fresh growth. So I'm going to take this tip cutting here. So if I put it like that, hopefully you can see it. And I'm going to cut just above a leaf node. The leaf node is where the leaves come from on the stem. So you're left with a cutting about that sort of size. So that's what we're looking for. Then I can just use my little snippers just to make a little hole in the compost. We don't want to bruise the stem, so make it nice and deep and just place it in and tuck the cutting in. It's as simple as that. Um, I'm going to take more than one, so let's quickly do another one. Exactly the same method. So just find a nice pliable bit of stem, some fresh growth, let it cut in, make the hole like so, and just place it in. So I'm doing it a bit cat candid so you can see what I'm doing. And then just tuck it in. Okay. If the compost isn't nice and wet, um, then give it a good water and you almost can't overwater at this, this stage. So give it a good water. And this happens to be, I watered it this morning, this happens to be nice and moist. Um, so there's a nice lot of compost in there. So I'm just going to put the greenhouse lid on there and put that back in the same position that I had my lemon thyme, um, lemonade thyme, I should say, sorry. So that could be something like a windowsill conservatory as long as it doesn't get too hot um, or a greenhouse would be absolutely perfect. Generally speaking, we're actually it's 1st of June we're fe filming this one, so generally speaking we'd say you could actually put this out with a glass house lid outside but the weather just hasn't been with us um, this year so I would keep it in uh, in the UK this time of year um, just while the weather isn't particularly warm. Uh, but if it was really, really warm, you could put it outside during the day. Um, so just keep an eye on them. Keep the moisture levels on the compost nice and and high. So keep a nice lot of moisture in there. And before you know it, it will start growing. Any questions at all, get in contact. See you soon.